Hi there, Nick Galmiche here. It's a little bit of my work. Artist, musician, drummer, guitar player. Just have a lot of fun. Uh, this is one of my favorites we put in the show because it was a real pain in the butt to do. And most of it was done outside and there were a lot of mosquitoes and little frogs and I didn't want to kill any of them so I had to be real careful where I stood and, and uh, anyway, a lot of rinsing went done on it and a lot of sanding and buffing, you know, it was like working on a car finish. So anyway, there it is. The title changes daily, so I don't really have a name. I don't know what was put on it, but that's the way all my works are. Grotto Azura. Mm -hmm. At the time it meant something, but I don't know. Today it's something different. So I may milk these. I may do a few more of these. Looking back on it now that the pain of doing it's over, I know how to streamline the process and I may go for a few more of them. So well, what's different for you when you're making art compared to music? Mm. Art's a lot more stressful because the way I paint, I can't, I have to clear my head completely. I mean, I don't even listen to music. I have to completely clear my head because I want to go on instinct, total instinct. So that really gets to the core of what's in my imagination. I don't have any, any ideas in place when I start a painting. It's, uh, it's because if I have ideas, then it's like an assembly line. It's like a job. It's like punching a clock. And I, I don't paint that way. So I, I have to completely clear my head and then I just let my instincts take over. And that's, that's, uh, that gets real stressful, but it's very rewarding because you know that you got to the, the core of your imagination. Music, it's like that too, but it's a lot of physical movement and on drums, and, and it, it's more fun. It's, it's, it's lighter to deal with. You don't find painting to be a physical experience? Because this looks physical to me. It can be. Yeah, it can be. When, you, when you're really going at it and you don't realize how long you've been at it and your shoulder starts to hurt and your back, and then when it's over, you sit down and go, wow wiped out from that. Plus you don't know where you're going, but it's like doing an improv when you're, you get a lead or a I window. Really, or a... I cannot repeat a painting. I cannot repeat because it, it's, it's total instinct when I paint, you know. I don't have a process. I don't have a documented process. Okay, part one, let's do this. Part two, let's do that. It doesn't work that way. So originally you weren't going to be in the show, remember, when I called and asked you? No, I don't remember that. I, I, I remember begging you, you said, to be in it. Are you kidding? You said, I don't know, but you oh, know, since, it's, was, since you're doing it, I'll go ahead and do it. That's what you said to me. Oh, well, maybe I didn't feel like... So aren't like you glad it. you did it? Yes, I am. I, I probably didn't feel like an artist that day. and I, I rarely do feel like an artist. I just like to do paintings. Well, thank you, Nick. I really appreciate you being part of the show. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry I gave you a hard time. And, uh, <laughs> I'll, you know, anything you involve me in, I'll jump. 